Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabalski here for EA Sports. One of the hottest teams in hockey are on the ice tonight here as the home team looks to keep the good times rolling. Enough talk, enough hype. Let's do this. Your first period is set to go. The Penguins take possession here on the opening draw, and we are underway. Getzel's going to play it against the half wall. Hammers a shot. He scores! Sidney Crosby sent the kid. Pittsburgh's on the board first, and it didn't take long. James, I took a look over at their bench. Some of the guys were still washing out their mouth guards and the pucks in the net. Face off here in the neutral zone, and we are back underway. The Leafs will play it in their own end. Takes the pass. Moves it to the middle. What a chance, but they can't connect. Puck grabbed by Raquel. And he takes the dish. Dumoulin's got it across the line. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Crosby. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. Trying to shake off the defender. Scores! Wow, what a goal! Nice hands, great finish. No short break in the net. We're still in the early stages of this period. You can feel the energy in this crowd. It's a tie game. The Leafs win the draw here in the neutral zone. Moves the puck along the half wall. Center and field. Scores! What a finish on the play! The Leafs get a leg up here by one. Plenty of time left here, but you still have to be happy that you're in the lead. Seacrest wins the draw inside the neutral zone. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Rust. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Seacrest takes the puck. Quick pass to Latang. Wing, they gain the zone. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Long jam in front. That's broken up. And the puck's not loose. Pittsburgh's got a hold of it along the wall. Here's a short pass to Smith. Nothing. Hit the net. No chance to score if you don't get the puck on target. Here's a pass to the middle. Oh, and he comes up with a stop. And they send it right back to him. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Receives the pass. Denies him on the play. Jari's had a lot to do with the team's winning record. His save percentage has been excellent all season. Grabbed along the boards by Smith. The Penguins looking against the half wall. Shot! Scores! On the rebound! Puts it home. Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. We are all tied up in this one. Comes in off the wing as both centers were tied up on the draw. Manages to hang on. Settles things down and gets control of it once again. Scores! And that's why they come here! Create offense. Find a way to finish. Chances off and he gets his first goal with his new team. The Leafs have gotten themselves off to the start they wanted with an early lead. Always better to play in front. You can dictate the matchups. You can dictate the pace of the game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. The Leafs have it against the wall. Slides it quickly to Kessel. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Beautiful read in the defensive end. Trying to gain a step all alone. Goodbye! I don't know what more could be done there. That 
That's a good shot, but the goalie makes a great stop. Here he is with the backhander. Chris is going to pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's going to take it. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. The Penguins win the draw. And now he passes up to Gensel. And that one's turned away. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Yarko. What a chance on the backhand. Really difficult shot for the goaltender to stop. Backhand's tricky, but you got to get it on the net. Good try, just nothing to show for. Sends it in deep. Pittsburgh's got the puck along the boards. Scooped up along the wall by Crosby. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Toronto's gained possession. Gaining momentum along the wing. That's sent in deep and the forwards will change. Slides it on over to Raquel. Right up Main Street and on the attack. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Moves it to Matthews. Good defensive stop with the poke check. The Penguins play it along the boards. Pittsburgh's got it along the wall. Let's it go. Whoa. Scores! And look who's right on the doorstep, and he didn't miss that one. More than half the period has expired. It's all tied up. Matthews has won it here at center. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And he takes the feed. Fires it into the offensive zone. Tenacious battle for the puck along the wall. And now he moves it quickly to Gostaspair. Into the attacking end. Moves it quickly over. The game is level for this point. Get a chance. Finish it off. Now you can play from in front. Toronto's got a one goal lead here in the first. What's the message on the bench, Ray? The message is to be aggressive, to get another one, to try and stretch a lead that you've just built. Puck is dropped and play resumes. The Penguins get a hold of it. Smith's got the puck. Toronto's looking to break out of their own end. Seekers brings it in. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. Oh, what a chance, and it goes sideways. Toronto's got the puck in their own end. Poked away at center by Tavares. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Comes up with a stop. In front, and a stoppage on the play as the goaltender covers things up. Crosby's got that beauty backhand zone ability, which is his notorious backhand shot, guys, and it's his favorite way to finish. Crisp's a great goalie who can steal a game for his club. Now, as I send it back upstairs, I'll be watching out for one of these players to give their team a chance to win tonight. The Penguins gain control of the puck against the wall. Poked away in the neutral zone by Hall. The Leafs played along the boards. Puck picked up by Tage. And now it's grabbed by Kessel. And the save! Smith's got a hold of the puck behind the net. Carter's picking up steam. Puck scooped up by Heinen. What a stop right there! Slides across in the butterfly to make the save, but you still have to be agile even though you're covering the bottom of the net. Puck dumped in, and they'll complete a line change. Winding down the final minute of this opening frame. Steps inside. Here's a feed in front, and that's stopped! Crisps on top of that one for a whistle. A little bit of traffic starting to form around the net. He's got plenty of time to look at himself in that jersey during stopping. His first game with a new team. The Leafs get a hold of the puck. 
back in their own end. Takes the feed. Moves it to Ruido. Slides the puck to Paling. Gives him a whack, and the officials are going to call this one. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Penalty killers are going to get to work here. No matter what happens, James, the coaches are going to have to reset the guys at the break. The Leafs get their man advantage unit out there for the first time tonight. And that's stopped by Jari. And that'll put a bow on the first 20 minutes of action here tonight. We've got lots more still to come. Second period is just around the corner. Both teams back on the ice. They're lined up, and period number two is about ready to go. The Leafs go right back at it on the power play here and win the draw to start the frame. Grabs the puck and moves on out here with this man advantage. Quick feed to Voracek. Oh, they probably want to redo on that. Puck is cleared out of the defensive zone. Picked up along the wall by Segris. Sends it over to Marner. Moves the puck. Quick stop! How did he stop that one? Yeah, he's right in front of the puck, too, so there's really nowhere that puck's gonna squeak through. The Leafs gain possession, and he slides it quickly to Voracek. Right side set up ahead into the middle of the ice. Makes the save. Jari's on top of the puck, and that'll stop the play. Pretty conservative play here, James, as he covers it up to kill the play. Bergeron's looking to win this draw on this man advantage here. Toronto's got it, and they're on the attack. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Toronto's been able to play themselves to the top of the league standings with a consistent season. From the goaltender to the guys doing their scoring, it's been an excellent year. The Leafs win the face-off. Club save by the goalie. Takes the feed, moving in. Puck goes out of play. We got a face-off coming up. Heinen's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the face-off. Bergeron's one possession. Along the wing, up the neutral zone. Shot! Denies him with a pass save. Taken by Johns. Puck grabbed by Ruda. And somehow he hangs on. Takes the feed at the point. The Penguins trying to shake the defender. He's in, all alone. No, broken it from behind. Toronto's moving it along the wing. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession. Turned aside with the glove by Jari. Seekers will look to win the draw to continue this power play. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck. The Leafs have it against the wall. Feeds it over to Voracek. Paling's ready to go. Pittsburgh's looking to break out. Here's a chance to clear the puck from his own end. The Penguins kill off the penalty. Got to give their shorthanded unit a lot of credit. A lot of head shaking on the bench when you go back after a power play like that. Well executed, lots of pressure, just couldn't finish. Takes a shot! Too much traffic in the lane! Toronto's got it into the offensive zone. Pittsburgh's got the puck. The Penguins are in transition. Drives it to the crease! Denies him! Crisp's gonna cover it up for a face-off. While his team's ahead, he wants to make sure the pace of the game stays at the level they like. 
James Sabalski, Ray Ferraro with you here in the early going of this period. It's a one goal game at this point. 4-3 is the score. Toronto's got it in the defensive zone. Feeds the puck across to Marner. From right out of midair, he bats it down. Taken along the wall by Jumelin. Carter's moving the puck through his own zone. Jumelin's got control of it now behind the cage. Poked away at center by Marner. Hangs onto the puck. And we'll get a breather here with offside the call. We haven't even hit the midway mark of the period. It's been a fun one here tonight. 4-3 hockey game. Crosby's gained possession inside the neutral zone. Picked up along the boards by Raquel. Oh, great save right there on the play. Gets the puck over to Carlson. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Quick pass to Crosby. Puck picked up by Gensel. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Toronto's got it in their own zone. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Here's a short pass to Crosby. And that's broken up. Poked away in the neutral zone by Pedersen. The Penguins take possession here in the open ice. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. The Leafs get a hold of the puck along the boards. Toronto's got it in their own zone. And they'll go on the attack. Great pressure by McGinn. And the referee caught that trip on the play. We've got a delayed penalty coming up. Play is stopped, and here's the official call. Working hard to get a play that can help you get back into this game, but the penalty is really going to hurt them. The Leafs once again send out their power play unit. When you're on the power play and you get one in a game you haven't had many, don't let the coach think. Get yourself on the ice and get yourself ready for the faceoff. That goes off a twig. Almost lost the puck, but hangs on here as play continues. Oh, and that's poked away in the offensive zone by Hall. Dumps the puck in. Toronto's got a hold of it against the wall. Nice zone entry from the middle. Moves it quickly over to Johns. Big time stop. They talk about tracking the puck all the time. I think it's about positioning because he didn't see this, and he still made the save. Toronto's got a hold of it along the wall. And now he tries to get it across to Hall. And that's snapped away in the defensive end by Jubilant. Grabbed along the board by Klingberg. Johns collects the puck in the offensive zone. His last goal put them in front. Handles it along the blue line. Moves it to Hall. Toronto's got the puck along the boards. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. The most fun save for the goaltender, the glove stop. Power play set to roll on as the centers get ready for the faceoff. Seagrass has won the draw and they'll go on the attack. Looks to set up at the point now. The Penguins have possession shorthanded. Heinen's got it on the offensive end. Makes the glove stop. From the right side, moves it up ahead. Pass up front. Couldn't complete the pass. Through center along the wing. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Great save by Chari. Yeah, he's a sharp save, James. Right in the middle of the ice, he makes the stop and pushes it away. Marner's distribution of the puck makes him an asset to his team, guys. He has that third eye zone ability, which means he can find his teammates with passes that are hard to complete. But if you get open, he'll put it on your stick. Takes the feet at the back end. Sends the pass in front. Can't connect the play. Paling's ready to join the play. One save made by Jari.
Well past the midway mark of this period. Fans have been treated to a fun one tonight. Lots of offense. It's 4-3. Toronto's won the draw and they'll go to work. Palin's now out of the box and we are back to even strength. two here in the second and they've shortened the game down you're inside the last half of the game a two goal lead you've had most of the possession you're in great shape Kent's won the draw and now it's grabbed by Riley fires it into the offensive zone Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck tries to feed it over to Raquel can't make the connection on the pass centering feed and that goes off a stick. Quick feed to Raquel. Sends a pass over. Spectacular save on the play. Crisp's getting bailed out by his team tonight. He's not had a good night. His save percentage is poor. Center's gliding up to the face-off dots here. Pittsburgh's got it in the offensive zone. Back to the blue line. Crisp's gonna smother it to get a whistle. Can get dangerous if nobody's in control of the puck. The Leafs win the draw. Tries to get the puck over to Kemp. Poked away at center by Pedersen. Quick pass to Yarncro. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. Pittsburgh's in on the offensive attack now. And he comes up with it. Crisp's gonna opt for the whistle and give everybody a chance to breathe. Sometimes you get running around as the shift gets long. This helps. Here in the back half of this period, the Leafs holding down a 5-3 lead in what has been a fun one for hockey fans to watch tonight. Tavares has won the draw. They'll go to work offensively. And play rolls on as he came up with a nice stop there. Goalies love the butterfly. They know they've got a lot of the net covered, so he slides across. Doesn't worry about this shot. Puts it on net and makes the save. Toronto's gained possession along the boards. And that shot dies in traffic. Here's a short pass to Carter. Sends the pass over. Gets a glove on it to make the save. The Leafs take it along the wing. Moves it quickly over to Johns. And that was a good heads-up read to make that save. Pucks it in deep and they'll make a change. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Can't make it work. Great defensive effort with the stick. Oh, what an effort as he lays out for the block. And the puck stopper jumps on top of it to get a stoppage in play. Just here in the late stages of this frame, the Leafs lead by a pair. It's 5-3. Pittsburgh's won the draw. Takes the pass as he banks it off the wall. Sends it across. Kicked away. And he rings the post. Pittsburgh's starting to generate some better chances. Here, this shot hits the goal post, but James, it doesn't bounce for them. They still trail in the game. With the bank pass. Here they come, down the right side and on the attack. Gives them nothing in front. Well, goalie had to be sharp there, James. That's a top-notch chance right in the middle of the ice. Fires it on net. Turned aside with a glove by Jari. Both teams are set. They're ready to drop the puck. Back underway as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Oh, and he stopped that rocket. That's moved up ahead. Paling's got it against the boards. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. From center, they get into the attacking area. Fires it.
have to look at that clock winding down and you just want to get to the end of the period. This is like a lightning bolt into the middle of this game. Camps won the draw here in the open ice. Oh, he had the right idea but couldn't make that play with the pass. Here's a shot. Misses that one off target. He wants to deliver this puck quickly, James, and I, I know what he's thinking. It's got to be a perfect shot. It doesn't. Just think of how many goals go right through the goal. 40 minutes down, still another 20 to go here in this one. Join us for period number three next. Welcome back to EA Sports. The final frame looms here as the officials set to drop the puck on period number three. Here we go, we're underway in the third. Everybody having fun getting in on the offensive action. Well, we've got two periods under our belts to this point so far, Ray. How do you see things? Toronto's in a nice spot here. I mean, it's a comfortable lead. They'll be able to play four lines in 6D and not tax anybody too much as they coast in here with a W. Fails to find the open man. Getzel's got the puck along the wing. The Leafs have it against the wall. Johns is taken down. A penalty is coming up. And the Flames whistle dead. Here's the call. You can feel the air coming out of the bench here. Down a bunch, and now they take a penalty. to the face-off circle. They'll send the man advantage unit out again. Well, they get another chance here. They've earned the power play. They haven't got anything on their power plays yet. Haven't had a lot of them, but here's a nice chance for them. More time off the clock as they grab the puck. The Penguins take it across the blue line. The Leafs gain control of the puck. And that's kicked out from the scrum. Moves it over to Voracek. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Went for the dirty dangle, and it goes sideways. I see what he's doing, James. He's got some room, and he's got great hands, but that's probably not the best place on the ice to make that move. Broken up by Riley. Tries to feed it across. And he takes the feed. Here's a chance. Turned aside. Puck moved over to Kapanen. They'll want to clear the zone here while they're trying to kill off this penalty. The Leafs look to start the transition game. Slides it over with pace to Voracek. Skates to the crease. Oh, a clutch save. Jari save right there is an excellent one. Oh, turns it aside once again. Great hook by Marner. Moves it to Latay. Here's a shot. Stopped by the goaltender. Jari's going to slow things down and up for the whistle. Oh, you got to kill the play eventually. That way everyone can get reorganized. Crosby's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. Pittsburgh's won the face-off deep in their own end. Scooped up along the wall by Crosby. And they'll battle for that loose puck along the boards. Sends it into the offensive zone. The Leafs have it now. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And he slides it quickly to Matthews. Nice pass. Paul's trying to increase the lead here. Not that they need it, it's their way ahead. Jari's going to hang on to that one for a whistle. Quickly on top of that, James, he needed a cover there. Bergeron's at the face-off dot, ready to win this draw on the man advantage. The Leafs take possession off the face-off. Now a quick pass to Klingberg. Slides the puck over. Back to the point it goes. And he the hat trick. Listen to this place. And here comes the hats. I love this tradition. Our boy I will tell you. They collect the hats up. They used to give them to us. And we're like, what am I going to do? I'm not wearing somebody else's hat. His first career hat trick. What a moment. Do you remember yours? I do, and I had two in one week. And it is amazing that so much goes right in one game. The Leafs win the faceoff. 
Through the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. Intercepted at center by Kapanen. Pedersen's been slashed. Penalty coming up. Uses the boards with the bank pass. Time for the officials to hand out the judgment. A lot of times a guy will get called for slashing because the stick breaks. When I played, it was wood. You couldn't break that thing if you tried. Pittsburgh's man advantage unit will take to the ice for the first time tonight. If you're trying to defend the lead, letting this number one power play on the ice is not a good plan. But here they come, a chance to get themselves back in the game. The Penguins have it behind the net. Quick feed to Rust. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's off target as it hits a body. Gets the puck in deep. The Penguins scoop it up along the boards. Here they come. The Penguins played along the wing. Quick pass to Crosby. Moves it to the middle. Another pass. Lays out with a block. Now can he get up? Oh. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Pittsburgh's got possession of the puck. Picked off by Fowler. Puck clears the zone. The Penguins have it from their own end. With some open space at center. Poked away in the neutral zone by Kent. A chance from the slot. Hansen the call there. As he slides in the butterfly, he's in great shape to make this save. And the traffic jam in front blocks the shot. What pressure here in the offensive end. Here's a shot. Oh, and there's a hit on the play. And a big time stop there. And there's a whistle as the goaltender will hang on for a much needed stoppage. Bergeron's ready for the draws that will continue to try to kill off this penalty. Off the draw, and a nice job locking up his opponent. Let's get the call. Not a great penalty anytime, but when you're getting pumped like this, it's no good. A little more room out there with a little four on four. The last couple of years, we've seen different strategy four on four come into the game. What is apparent, when you get the puck, you keep it. You'll move it and hold it until the great chance opens up. Grabs control of it at the point. A chance out front, and he shuts down a great scoring chance there. Picked up along the wall by Raquel. And we got an offside with a face-off looming. Puck ready to drop here any moment to get things underway again. Puck is dropped and play resumes. And it's a quick pass to Ruda. Feeds the puck to Tavares. Taken along the wall by Raquel. Toronto's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Here's the pass. Oh, he'd like to have that pass back. The Smith's got the puck and he's going to hang on. I got my first hat trick against the Boston Bruins in my rookie season, and I couldn't believe that I'd actually scored three times in one game. It's such a great feeling. Gains possession with both centers all tied up in the drop. Pittsburgh's got it across the line. Toronto's got it behind the net. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. The Penguins will kill off a few extra seconds now. And he gets sandwiched into the wall. That's really well played by the defensive player. He took away the angle, forced them into a spot, and then laid the hit. Cuts into the paint. Puck scooped up by Latang. And now he moves it quickly to Voracek. On the attack into the offensive end, right up the gut. And he slides it quickly to Latang. 
And he slides it quickly to Riley. Aaron pass, and they can't connect. We got a stoppage. Let's get the call. This is becoming a team-wide discipline issue here. That's their third penalty of the period. They really like using this set here. It's simple. It's two shooters at the top, but they've got some big shots, and they want that puck to the front of the net where the traffic is. See if they can grab a rebound. Here's a shot, and he comes up with a stop there. And now it's over to Matthews. Big stop right there. The Smiths on top of that for the whistle. Pretty quick. Crosby's side still shorthanded here as they slide in for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Pass back to the point. Puts it on goal. And he makes the save there. Pinned up along the boards. And some nice footwork to free the puck up to his teammate. The Penguins gain possession. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here we go, pucks in deep. From the left wing, takes the feed. To the low slot. Denies him in close. Man, he's got great wheels. He gets outside and gets a lane to the net. You're not slowing him down. Good save by the goalie at the end of the play. Knocked away by Kapanen. Right through center and into the offensive zone. And now he moves it to Hall. Handles the puck. Shuts it down with the paddle. What a stop. Quick pass to Paley. Up along the wing. Here's a short pass to Kapanen. Zegers brings it in from center. The Leafs ready to go on the attack. From the point, they take control of it. The Smith's gonna cover it up and get a whistle. Even with the traffic starting to close in, he had to grab that when he did. Zegers is at the face-off dot and will try to win the draw as we are about to resume this power play. Crosby's won the draw inside his own end. Feeds the puck to Dumoulin. Pushes it across to Bluger. And now he angles it across to Crosby. And sends it just out of reach. Marner's got it in the offensive zone. Oh, how did he come up with that stop? Crosby's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. The Penguins take possession off the faceoff. Tries to get the puck to Bluger. Knocked away with the stick by Voracek. Looks like there's a delayed penalty being called here by the officials. Well, that all didn't go according to plan. That's a game misconduct that's been handed out on that play. Well, things open up for both sides a little bit here with some four-on-four -four action. The game on almost every level has moved to a puck possession game. Really, really important four on four. On target! The Penguins' penalty has expired. They now go to work on the power play. Pittsburgh's got a hold of the puck now. Bang on passes center in the neutral zone. Picked up along the boards by Johns. And they manage to clear it. Taken by Matthews. The Penguins will play it in their own end. Moves the puck along the half wall. Snapper from the slot, and the shot dies in the traffic jam. Fires one. Oh, what a stop on the play. Crisp's taken away all of the rebound possibilities by putting that puck in the corner. The Kings are on the save the date calendar next for these guys. Yeah, fans of both teams will really look forward to that matchup. It's generally a pretty aggressive game. Never an off night in this league. Bergeron's won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. Trying to come up with a huge defensive play to get this puck out of his own end. The Penguins have it behind the cage. Headman pass. 
looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. I hope people at home aren't going away to grab a sandwich or something. By the time they come back, there's two more goals. It's like a goal a -thon here. Into the offensive zone. Keeps hold of the puck. Nice save from point blank range. Crisp's gonna cover up the puck here for a whistle. He makes a safe play and kills the play before any other damage can be done. Just moments away from the reception of this power play. They're ready to drop the puck here for this faceoff. Heinen's won the draw here in the offensive zone. Pokes it away to keep the pressure on. The Penguins get a hold of the puck along the boards. Heinen's gonna play it against the half wall. And too much traffic in front blocks that one. From the place 99 made famous. Grabs the puck in the corner. And he makes the save. Pittsburgh's gained possession along the boards. And that pass doesn't go. Moves it quickly over to Heinen. Shuts him down. And some good footwork to kick it away. They get it out of the defensive end. Getzel's lugging the puck. Now a quick pass to Heinen. Gains the zone through center. Moves it to the middle. Can't connect the play. And the puck is moved to a safer spot on the ice. Pittsburgh's got the puck. Moves it to Kapanen. Look at this down the right wing. They're on the attack. And he was ready for that one. Crisp's going to slow things down and opts for the whistle. He's had a really good night. He's been on top of his game, and there's not been much that's given him trouble. In a head-to-head -head matchup tonight, who had the better performance? Crosby's been able to provide some offense in this matchup, guys, so I have to give him the edge in this one. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. And a nice job by the Killers on that one. Yeah, now they can get a change, get some fresh players on the ice. Pittsburgh's crossed the line and on the attack. Toronto's got the puck along the wall. And they get that puck down the ice. The Penguins move the puck in the defensive zone. And it's a quick pass to Raquel. The Penguins play it along the boards. With possession along the wall. Quick feed to Rust. Handles the pass. Unleashes a cannon! And that's deflected off someone in front. They fight for it along the boards. The Leafs have it against the wall. They clear the zone. The Penguins will play the puck from behind the net. Quick pass to Raquel. Pittsburgh's on the attack. Centering feed! And he'll hang on to it to regroup here for a moment. A chance! And he gets a paddle on that one. I like how he was able to follow the puck. Good save in close. Camp's ready for the draw as they continue to be shorthanded here. The Penguins will go to work here in the offensive zone. Trying to clear. And he's able to move the puck across the blue line and out of harm's way. Here's a short pass to Heinen. Pittsburgh's got the puck in the defensive end. Pass broken up. Icing is the call. We'll get a face up at the other end. Heinen's looking to win this draw and this man advantage here. Pittsburgh's got it in the defensive zone. Zucker's across the line now and on the attack in the offensive end. On the attack along the boards. He almost lost it for a second there, but regains control of the puck. Puts it on net. That's gloved by DeSmith. The goalies love this. I mean, he gets to flash the leather, the glove save, and the little snap of the wrist to show everyone in the building. Nice try. I've got it. Crisp's gonna pounce on it, and he'll take the whistle. He's usually a pretty conservative goaltender anyway, and so the opportunity to kill the play, he's gonna take it. Yarncroft's gliding in for the face-off as this penalty kill will continue. 
Crosby's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. Toronto's got the puck shorthanded. The Penguins gain possession along the wall. Pittsburgh's coach can't be happy about that. A major penalty and they come up with nothing on the power play. And now the coach has to get everybody else involved. He relied on very few players through that five-minute major, but the PK didn't disappoint. What an outstanding job. Saucers it take to take. Moves it quickly over to Latang. Quick shot! Big time glove save! Covers it up. And the centers glide towards the dot here as we got a face-off set to go. And as the puck is dropped, they win the draw here inside the defensive zone. Pittsburgh's got it against the boards. Takes the feed at center from the right wing. Long reach breaks up the momentum. And he loses possession of the puck after trying to make one too many moves. Tries that last move. Maybe he should just shoot the puck and get it deep. Got a chase now. The Penguins have it in the offensive end. Hall's been whacked on the play. The official's arm is up in the air. Let's get the official decision. What's already been an ugly night is going to get a little worse here. Short-handed, and the game is out of reach. Face-off and another opportunity to take a look at the man advantage unit here. Sometimes it's just your night and the way that they've performed on the power play. It kind of feels like they're going to get another one. Puck grab by Klingberg. Hammers a shot. Too many bodies in the way. Sends it over to Paling. And tries to make a diagonal pass to McGinn. Blocker save and he's showing up big time tonight. And he takes the pass. And now he tries to get it across to Marner. Can't find his man. Toronto's got control of it now here in the offensive end. The Penguins get a hold of the puck under man. Steps across the line and on the attack down the right side. The Leafs scoop it up along the boards. Couldn't make the connection on the play. Cutting to the front of the net. Turns it aside with a glove. He's going to go back to the bench and want to look at that one again. He had enough time to really make a good shot. I don't think he quite got it where he wanted to. Toronto's ready to go on the attack. The Penguins gain possession of the defensive zone. And now he moves it quickly to Paling. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. Pittsburgh's regained possession of the puck. The Leafs take it along the wall. And he regains control of the puck. Tries to the crease, off the outside of the iron. Under a minute to go on the third. The Leafs gain control of the puck against the wall. Power play set to expire, one last chance here, Ray. Yeah, quick entry will give them some time in the offensive zone. Moves it to Riley. Center and feed, and it carries off a twig in front of the net. Here's the pass down low. And it's freed up over to his teammate with a nice kick pass. Centering the front. He scores! What a goal! Officials getting ready to drop the puck. Puck possession so key in today's game. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And as the final seconds tick away, listen to this place recognize a hard-earned victory. And with the two centers tangled up, the winner skates away with it. Gessel's picking up momentum through center. Deflected in front. There's the horn, and it's time to breathe. John's three goal performance spurs this team on to victory, right? What a shot in the arm with one of your best 
player is able to score like this. He had opportunities and he didn't miss. I love how this tradition has built over the last decade or so here, Razor, and the fans love it too. It's really kind of a cool thing. I, I thought when it started it wouldn't last. Now I see why it does. It's a great connection for the players and their fans. Well, I hope to see you down the road real soon as we say goodbye here from ringside tonight. From all of us here at EA Sports, I'm James Savalski. Good night.